then Peter Parker and the Toby in prison. And Toby and Peter tells Toby like why did he like became like the prowler? And it's later and it's been revealed that the reason why he became the prowler is because he's been t- he's tired of being poor, so poor that because like he was around so many people that had money and so many privileges that he could not have. So he decided to become the power and steal stuff so he can like experience what it's like not to be poor. Peter generally feels sorry for Hobie. However, he told him just because you're poor doesn't mean you get to steal stuff. Like That's like not good. You can't steal stuff even if you're poor. And Peter tells Hobie that he called his lawyer to give him a life sentence. Hobie thanked P- Peter and Peter went walked away. Then we cut to Adrian and Adrian seems to regret like not wearing a mask because technically he forgot to make one. Because because he knows, you know, like Adrian is kind of old and usually when you start like like how like eight years old you start to have problems. And since, like, John, I mean, Adrian is old, he has dementia, dementia, meaning that he forgets something. So, sometimes he forgets stuff. But now he can't make a mask anymore because everyone knows who he is. Oscar probably will not treat him the same way as he used to be. He'll feel like that Oscar will now fire him as CEO and... He, everyone will be known as a as a fug- fugitive. So he has something in mind. So as soon as he captures Spider Man, he's gonna build a healthy army and take over New York with that army. Army with hostile, you know, like I forgot that was called. Hostile takeover. Oh yeah, hostile takeover. Well, he could use the mask that he got from the goblin, however, he decided to use it just to, like, put him in his office to remember Norman. And, obviously, I'm just saving for that mask for someone else. I'll guess it by looking at this picture. Yeah, this is my only hint. Like, I'm guessing you probably know who this is, like... Like, however, that's all enough I'm going to tell you. Because I don't want to spoil the fun part. So, anyways, back to the story. Spider-Man, like, t- Peter... T- I mean, Tobey Maguire... I mean, Peter Parker decides to be Spider-Man again. After just, you know, like, taking, like, a few days break. You know, like, a few days of break. And... He actually told Gwen and Dr. Connors that Vulture is Adrian Toons. And of course they already know because there was no there mask. There was no mask. That night, Felicia Hardy, like AK Bobcat, visits her father's hideout. And she told her, told that, her that he is going too far and... He needs to stop. He needs to stop doing this and leave Spider-Man alone because, you know. However, Vulture show, uh, said, however, Vulture furiously said that do not show empathy or I'll send you back where I found you. After that, Peter was like swinging at Spider-Man until he got captured by the Oscorp task force units. But this time, they captured him pretty well because Peter has been tired for the lo- for the past few weeks. And then a few minutes later, Peter works up like in a surgical table in his full Spider-Man costume. And then Adrian Toons comes. Adrian Toons says, "Well, well, well, look what we have here—a Spider-Man." Good to see you. 
and now you will be experimented. And also, like, Adrian Toons also said that even though he's a fugitive, his name will be cleared off a few weeks because he knows people from the government. And since that will happen, he will be the owner of Oscorp again. People will now call him as like a hero or a good person. And the plan will work perfectly fine. And Adrian would also say something like, Oh, and I don't forgot. Let's see who is like behind the mask. So technically... Adrian takes off Spider-Man's mask, and it revealed to be Peter Parker. Obviously. Vulture, aka Adrian Toons, was surprised to see this. He... And besides, he's technically happy that Peter is Spider-Man. He, something, he said something like, Hmm, this all makes sense. I see that you were struggling for a job, and now you can able to handle this. I'm impressed, Peter, that you're able to do this. So, tell me, how did this happen? And Peter obviously comes up, says that it was like a radioactive bug bite. Yeah, obviously that. And then uh, Adrian Toons drops the mask, and then suddenly leaves. Peter Parker, aka Spider-Man, was intentionally unable to, like, like, leave the restraints, like, 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 remove the restraints and put on the mask. And then he swings away. (laughs) When Adrian Toons got back, he was furious that Peter, aka Spider-Man, left like his test subject left and he starts smashing things however he had an idea adrian tunes researched peter and then the next day at mj's apartment mj has gotten a knock and it turns out it was the task force units and they end up arresting her And then, after that night, like, after that, like, Peter was, like, chilling in the Osborne apartment. And he was thinking about going and trying to stop the vulture. But he's technically not strong strong enough. However, Bernard came and told Peter that... He can use, like, the serum that, like, he can probably use, like, the serum that, like, how, like, Harry and Norman has been using, like, like, technically, like, the, just use, like, the serum, the same serum that, like, John Malkovich using to make, like, Peter strong enough to be spite, take down the vulture. Like how Harry did it and Vulture did it. Peter agrees. So he technically went into that spot where Earth the serum is. Of the serum is that can make him strong enough. Like not necessarily a goblin serum, more like a strong serum. Because technically the serum doesn't make him evil anymore. Because technically Harry didn't wasn't really controlled by the goblin and like 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 in Spider-Man 3 like it just made him stronger so he can go and take down like Spider-Man same with Vulture like no one was controlling him it was just to make him stronger so yeah same thing will happen to Peter Peter will take the and the sim the and uh, the serum and does the same process and puts on his Spider-Man costume and goes Peter eventually bumps in with the vulture and what's it like, oh, so you meet again. And 
Spider-Man says, Vulture, you may have beaten me once or twice, but you're not going to beat me again. This is going to be our last battle. You need to stop this. Then Vulture said, oh, yeah? Frame her, her out. out. The, and the task for Janet's come out points their gum at MJ, who is currently tied up. And then Peter was like, MJ? And then MJ would probably say, Peter! And then Peter would probably say, MJ, what happened to you? And then MJ would probably say, like, Peter, they trapped me. They trapped me. I try to escape, but they trapped me. And then Peter would tell Vulture, let MJ go. And then Vulture said, oh, yeah? How about I'll let her go in exchange for you? And then, uh... Hobie Brown came in his Prowler costume with Black Hat. It turns out Black Hat broke Hobie out of prison to come and help Peter and the Vulture. However, as soon as they take care of the Vulture, Hobie will go back and still before any of the guards notice. notice. And Peter and Vulture are starting to have a battle. And Vulture notices that Peter's like punching like well again. Because it turns out, like, ever since Peter took in the serum that, that I mean, like, the goblin or, like, the, the serum that makes people strong, like how, like, Vulture and Harry did it, it turns out, like, ever since, like, Peter took that serum, he ended up fighting Vulture well. Like, because, like, unlike the last battles they fought, like, Peter was, like, weak and couldn't risk to do it. But now Peter can because since he took a serum. And Vulture was shocked to see that Peter's, like, not that weak and he's he's strong. Felicia and Hobie is currently taking down the Oscorp task force. And Spider-Man is currently having a battle he's currently right now just fighting the vulture. vulture and then the next thing that will happen we will will entirely shock you are all vulture grabs mj and then flew miles miles away before peter can catch up even can catch up and once peter catch up Vulture sees that holding MJ and he, she is about to like drop. And before MJ could drop, Vulture said, It is either you or her. And then she drops. He drops MJ. Peter tries to catch by using like his webs he tries to do that however he fails and the next scene that you're about to see will be shocking MJ dies that's right MJ dies I'm doing like how Gwen, Gwen Stacy does it MJ dies and it turns out the reason why I'm doing this because back in like the late 2000s, like early like 2009 or 2008, there were rumors saying that like the actress who plays MJ, Christian Dunst, didn't really want to like return to Spider-Man for because like she didn't really like how her MJ was like turning out to be because, because yeah like I definitely agree like like Christian or like I mean Kirsten Dunst MJ like not good like you know like because it's like so goofy you know like sh- sh- like her MJ always chiefs on other people in the first three movies and K- 
Kirsten Dunst doesn't really like that, you know. Yeah, so that's why that she didn't really want to turn after. She didn't really want to turn after Spider Man Four. But well, actually, she want to leave after Spider Man Three. So even if M, even though if even when M, even if Kirsten Dunst just returns like in Spider Man Four, I doubt that she will return in Spider Man Five and Six. I, I think that's the reason why they had Black Cat, Black Cat set it to be like the new love interest so yeah anyways back into the story so yeah MJ dies and then Peter ends up yelling and raging feeling so frustrated that Vulture killed her killed the woman who Peter loved because he was re- Generally gonna like propose and marry to her, but now that's gone, and all because of Vulture. While Peter is grieving, Vulture escapes and went somewhere else, like to like a warehouse or like a penthouse. I don't know. And then Peter is technically like, like saying, "Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It's like my fault." And Raged Peter swings away. Peter spotted Vulture in a building and goes into it. And when he founds like the Vulture, Peter's not gonna like hold back his punches anymore. Like how he did it in Spider Man 3, you know, like, like, like in Spider Man 3, he was like angry that Sandman killed Uncle Ben. But now he's angry in this movie that Bird of Vulture killed MJ. And then, like, Spider-Man beats the heck out of, like, Vulture, you know? Just like how Tom Holland's Peter Parker did in No Way Home when Green Goblin killed Aunt May. Peter was angry and started to punch Green Goblin very hard. So in Spider-Man 4... Peter punched very hard on Vulture. Even that serum he took helped him, like, able to punch stronger than the Vulture. And the Vulture was terrified. However, one punch remained before the Vulture gets killed. And when Peter realizes this, he stopped because he has been gone too far in this. And then he said, like, oh my gosh, what have I done? Like, MJ wouldn't want this, Uncle Ben wouldn't want this, Aunt May wouldn't want this. Like, because he was almost about to kill Vulture, but he stopped. <laughs> so he started, then he webbed up, like, Vulture and started to, like, destroy Vulture's wings. Like, he destroys every single piece of it. Until he's non functional. After that, Peter places Vulture outside. Like, webs him up and. Vulture, like, is, like, webbed up and. Peter's now gonna leave Vulture there until the police arrived. And then, one. When, once the police arrived, they arrested Adrian Toons. They also spotted Hobie, and Hobie just surrenders. However, Peter told Captain Stacy about the things Hobie... I mean, Spider-Man tells Captain Stacy about the great things Hobie done. However, Captain Stacy is going to think about it when their, like, trial is going to come. You know? You know? And Captain Stacy also told, like... Him that New York thanks him for all of the chaos that this has been in the past few weeks and now to be finally be over. Then an ambulance arrives to take MJ to the morgue and Peter was like starting to have tears. Like under the mask because he still has the mask on. It's like Captain Stacy doesn't know that Spider-Man is Peter Parker. Then we cut to MJ's funeral, where we can see a lot of people attending. 
like Aunt May, and of course Peter. Felicia Hardy is there. Bernard is there. Flash Thompson is also there. Gwen Stacy is also there. And Dr. Connors. Then we cut to, like, like, two, a few months later to, like, the trial of, like, of, like, of, like, Hobie Brown. And it's been revealed that Peter Parker's lawyer is Matt Murdock, played by Ben Affleck. And obviously, Sony, like, the style I wanted to, like, just obviously, Sony needs to have permission from Marvel to use this character because they don't really own the rights to it. So Marvel initially accepts and they added him in as a, as a small cameo to it. Like, like he's just gonna be like a small cameo to this movie. And thanks to like Matt Murdock and Foggy, Hobie Brown gets like a light sentence, you know, like community service. Oh, just for like a few weeks. And then we cut to, like, Peter. And Peter's still kind of sad that he lost his best friend MJ. I mean, he lost his best friend Harry. And he also lost his love interest, MJ. So, because of, like, the trauma that he has, like, like he still worries about the best friend of Harry Osborne and MJ. Peter decides to take a break being Spider-Man for a little while, you know, like, decides not to be in the mask for a few minutes. Like, he still keeps the suit in the mask, but in, like, a, like, a suitcase. So, yeah. And that's the end of the movie. And, oh, yeah, the credits in this movie will be What Have I Done by LinkedIn Park. Alright, that's it. That's the end of my video for what actually happened. And now let's talk about my opinions of this movie, of the script I made. I think this is a very good script, you know? I find, like, seeing, like, the rooms that stand in the it's probably cool. It's also cool to see, like, things being there were also rumors saying that Dr. Kurt Connors slash the Lizard would be in this film, but he decided to save that movie for like a fifth film, a film, for a fifth film which I'm definitely fine to. So like, the next problem, project I'm probably going to do is what if Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man was like in the Avengers 2012 movie? Because if you haven't seen part one, you know, don't forget, this is gonna be split into like parts because I recording the part of the movie. It should probably take up the time. And yeah, I'm doing this with the part. Anyways, like I was saying, if you haven't seen part one, basically in part one, I said that Sony decided to have Spider-Man into the MCU. And because of this, my next project will be what if, like, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man would be in the event of the Then yes, I think they would put them in the MCU because I think they want to show how, like, how Spider-Man really is a character and how he's continuing to become like, a Marvel hero. Like, they were originally supposed to do that in Wolverine, it was supposed to be a 
However, it didn't because he got to be out of costume. And that's Punisher Cameron from Super Mario. But now he has done off with Daredevil in this movie. It's only that. They both took the message out. And because of Spider-Man, he didn't continue to be careful. And because Spider-Man, he didn't continue to be careful. It's been after, just because of this, like, cat camera and stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.